everybody, welcome back to the stream. I'm back with some more of a deadly permission. Uh, last time, we basically just arrived in town. I did a little bit of fishing, getting settled in, and tonight I plan to do a little bit more exploring, more fishing, start some more side missions, meet some townsfolk. Hopefully the costumes are correct this time. <laughs> No more cat girl Emily. <laughs> Previously during the investigation, these puppies hey, are making Fra -Fra. me go to How's it going? Welcome, welcome. Ready to to uh, revisit some Greenvale with me tonight? All right. Okay. So I just finished that. I wonder if that car will hit me. Let's just stand in the middle of the road. I don't know what I want to do. I'm thinking I will uh, introduce myself at Angie Diner, pick up this card. Oh, wait, what time is it in game? Ooh, I could probably meet Anna's mom. And catch Quint too. So maybe I'll do that. Alright. And we'll do the high school race. So basically, we're gonna dick around. <laughs> Going to work soon. Ooh! Uh, then you're on a uh, uh, summer vacay? Cool! Hi! Uh, da, Thien, Aqua. Thank you so much for the raid! With some fish snacks. Well, thank you so much for joining me. Are you a fan of, um, Deadly Premonition? Zach, picking up from where we left off, speaking of 80s movies, one jewel in the rough springs to mind. Deadly Spawn. Do you remember that one, Zach? Back in 83, directed by Douglas McCown. Right. It was filmed pretty cheap, but still, it was pretty good. Hi, Sky. Thank you for resubscribing. Are you, are you going to go play uh, Dead by Daylight? So many delicious B-movie cliches. Did you know that they made a sequel? But I never got to see the sequel. The rental store didn't have it for some reason. They said the staff for the sequel was totally different from the original. I wonder how the sequel turned out. You know, the monster in that one responded Sounds to sound. Good. Well, I Wait, hope you guys have fun playing Dead by Daylight. Like the movie Tremors. I think that one was back in 89, directed by Ron Underwood. Now that was a great role for Kevin Bacon. Masterpiece. Zach, that one had sequels like crazy. I remember there was a fourth one. I've only seen the first one, though. Okay. How's the game? Uh, well, it's working fine for me. Did you end up, um... Did you end up, uh, getting the game on sale? And hello, Emperor. You couldn't buy it on your PC? Oh. Oh, oh, suspect. No, I want to talk to him. No. Richard, look at me. Look at me. Look. Maybe they thought it was a suspicious purchase because, uh, it's deadly premonition. <laughs> They're like, who wants to buy that PC port? <sighs> All right, I'll talk to you out here, Richard. Talk to me, talk to me. Okay. I'm FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Look at my Please badge. call me York. It's what everyone calls me. York? Sounds like a last name. <laughs> Bank says by the Xbox 360 version, it works better. <laughs> I'm Richard Dunn. I own one of the bars mm. here. It's called Sweary 65. How'd you like the town? Yeah. Oh, it's great. <sighs> Aside from the murder that happened here. Yep. I mean, murder just doesn't fit with a small town like ours. Well, Richard, I'll have to correct you on that. Crimes don't care about size. Big town, small town, just isn't a factor. Uh, I guess you're right. So, how did you know Anna? 
Well, I've known her since she was a child. She was the same age as my son. Yeah, she always stood out being pretty enough. Well, do you have a switch? Mother. You can get on switch. You seem to know a lot. How long have you been in love with her? <laughs> hey, hey, don't go there. That scar of yours tells me you got your hands full too, right? Let's not dive into personal matters. It'll be better for you and me. You're right, Richard. Collecting gossip won't help with the matter at hand. And apparently you can also emulate the PS3 version as well. Hey! What's up? If you need something from me, just come see me at the bar. Oh, I will, Richard. I got a date with your dartboard and my gun. Okay. Um... Well, it's more expensive on on Switch, I think. I think it, I don't know how much it is. The Switch version crashed Anna, a lot for me. Where are so you going? If you get that version, don't just, just be me. wary of that. You there? Do you know where Anna is? Anna, my dear. I could think it crashed Anna. every Zach, two let's hours. Do this later. Like I lost a I lot we'll of progress when I was playing on Switch. I'd like to ask you some questions about Anna. Anna. Oh, why did she have to die? She was so happy, so full of life. Anna, she loved that dress in the picture so much. She looked so pretty in it, but now she won't be able to wear it again. Yes, that dress. I can't find that dress anywhere. That dress? Her dress. Yeah, that dress. Where you is it? Without Don't it, you know? Did you steal it? She looked so pretty when she wore it for prom. She was the prettiest I like girl how York's like, I don't so know what to do here. I don't think we'll get much more out of her like this. Maybe if we find the dress and bring it to her, she'll calm down enough to talk. Okay. So what's what's really interesting about <clears throat> Sally's character, she doesn't really leave the house much. She uh, she stays in here during the day um, and then goes to Surrey 65 and then spends the night with Richard in his trailer. Um, when I first played it, like I, I came to the house and of course I met her here and did the side missions and stuff and she just seemed crazy. And I remember years ago there was a screen cap of her in the milk barn and I got convinced, oh wait, I need to look at her office, right? I got convinced that she was also walking around town at some point and I was just missing it somehow. So for years I was like, where? Where can I see her in the milk barn? And it wasn't until I was working on my Let's Play where I was just ignoring side missions so I could do like most of them in chapter, the, the last chapter of the game to see differences in dialogue. When she's just kind of thrown into the milk barn if you don't go and meet her by your, like on her own so like right after you're supposed to find the twins like sally will appear in the milk barn so for years i've been like when does she leave the house during the day <laughs> and go to the milk barn and it's a stupid cutscene that they force on players who don't go meet her at the house uh a photo of Anna wearing a beautiful dress this must be the one Sally was looking for. All right. Look, Zach. It's a picture taken during Years her prom. Of searching. There are no and other pictures of scene. Anna in a dress. This blue dress here, then, must be the one Sally is looking for. She does look like a goddess. Really? Sally she was does right. not look like a goddess to me. She sure is That's pretty. a really awful photo. That smile would make any man turn to butter. There's like two, like like that photo. I mean, it looks like it's the same dress. I want to know who's next to her. Her dad's dead. Is that like grandpa? Okay, whatever. Let's go get the dress. 
Man, Fraud Fraud, yeah, I'm gonna have to revoke your, your Deadly Premonition fan club membership. Getting Lily and Sally mixed up? Oh my goodness. <laughs> uh, let's go get the dress. Honest prom dress. <laughs> Zach, this is it. This is the same dress as the one in the prom picture. Let's take it to Sally. But what is, what is really kind of sad about Sally's character and that I only really, again, you learn so many cool little details if you take the time to explore and talk with the characters throughout the chapters. Like, I I went from going, wow, she's just really kind of mean and crazy to holy shit, she's seeing ghosts and they're talking to her or not, or not speaking in front of her. She's just seeing her dead daughter and her friends. <laughs> Poor woman is like slowly going crazy because she's seeing ghosts and of course York can understand because he can see them as well um, so yeah no wonder she's drinking herself in a stupor oh wait I did find the dress wait do you want this first are you sure you don't want a hand bone okay okay did you try looking in a closet? In your closet? No? Okay. Here's your dress. Huh. This is this is it? The dress. This is Anna's dress. Ha! Huh. Anna! Oh! Anna! <laughs> Anna! Sally, we found the dress. So please tell me more about Anna. Oh. Yeah, she's off in La La Land now, York. She was such a good girl. She was the most beautiful girl in town. With pretty blonde hair. Everyone around her just loved her. On the night of the murder, was Anna at home? Yes, I, I think so. You think so? Uh, that day, the day she died, I stayed over at a friend's place. If only I'd been here. Uh, Anna York, might not it's voiced have by gone. Jeff Kramer. Where did you stay that night? He's also uh, the uh, voice actor uh, was, for uh, 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 The Seaman uh -huh. on Dreamcast. So, in other words, you have no idea what Anna was up to that night. That's wrong. She wasn't the kind of girl that would walk around at night. She was always dancing, dancing under the sun. Yes, under the pouring sunshine, like this. <laughs> Zach, look. A key. So, you know, I feel kind of bad for Anna. Dress. All anybody can really Maybe say can about her is how Anna's pretty room. she is. Sorry, Sally, but we're going to have to take a look <laughs> or in there. What a ditz she is. <laughs> she's a pretty and and she's an alien. <laughs> it's like, damn. <laughs> can you guys see like oh she's really kind and thoughtful and she lit up a room with her smile? What what do they say on the true crime doc? Yeah. Uh, she is crazy with grief right now. So, she she does not get any better until like at the last chapter. This dress. Nice. All right, and here here's uh, Laura Laura Palmer in the game. That's her photo. Boom. <sighs> hey, runner. Why was her dress shaped? I I don't know. <laughs> Let's shave in the dead girl's bathroom. Oh, let's see. Not too clean, I must say. Though I can hardly blame her. I don't know. Looks pretty clean to me, York. Look at that toilet seat cover. What is that of? 
I can't tell. Can we open the toilet? It's not filthy, not just yet, but she has been cleaning lately. Well, she died, York. When was she supposed to clean it as a ghost? <laughs> Does he say anything about the phone? No, he doesn't. Cosmetics all over the place. She could have been a little tidier at her age. Didn't she have a crush for anyone? Yeah, oh, yeah, she did. <laughs> Open it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> York is super judgmental. That he is. When he first pulled out his gun, I thought he was going to shoot the she drawer open. She was at an age open. that craves excitement. Doesn't matter what town you're from, girls will be girls. You know, Zach, in this wonderful country of ours, there are no good old fashioned towns left. None at all. Yeah, given the circumstances, cleaning bathroom is super low and our priorities agreed. Day one. I Today too, when I write in my ceremony, diary, I put day one and not the actual day two. date. The first time he used it on me, it was so amazing, so exhilarating. Day three, he doesn't let anything slip. I'm really worried about Becky. Day four, delivery man Q won't be able to protect Becky. So that's the last page written. It's very interesting. You can learn a lot from a diary. So we have this unnamed he, Becky, and this delivery man Q. Zach, this could be more interesting than I thought. Yeah, could be. Okay, so we did our first side mission. Oh wait, can we observe anything else? Uh, it's already open. Oh, the photos. Not I was gonna see if I could look at the photo again from the being in the red room. Or the, excuse me, the sex dun dungeon. Oh, I guess it's covered up with candy. Brittany, I think you like the AI, the Somnium files. Oh yeah, I'll have to, I'll have to look it up. All right. Well, let's go have a street race. Oh wait, I need to show you guys. Wait, wrong, wrong way. having a brain fart oh it's over here okay so speaking about playing this game for years for years i did not realize that can you observe anything in here um you could go into the garage and we can see anna's car oh hold on wait you're supposed to observe Hmm, huh, maybe he's not observing because I haven't gone to the sheriff department yet and got on his file. <laughs> that might be a thing. <laughs> George is just sitting in the office seething right now because York is super late. <laughs> so God damn it, I told him to be on time. He's out just running around Greenvale like a wild man. Okay, I'll try coming back later. But anyway, it took me years to find this little area. I know, not, that, not very exciting, but it was to me. Alright, let's go. Oh, do you see anything else, Sally? No. Oh, I think there's a... Agent Honor out here. <laughs> also me, right now, every time you say York, all I can picture is, your, is York your dog. Well, he is... Hey, he, that York is his namesake, so. Technically, his, na his name is Francis York Morgan, but we all call him York. Oh, 
There it is. Alright, let's go introduce ourselves to street racing. Again. in the... We'll, we'll do this later. I want to go say hi to Quint. He's at the diner. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. We're going to act on Whitney wants to talk to everybody except go to the sheriff department. Why? Well, because... That is the, that is the music for the first street racing. I'm FBI special agent Francis York Morgan. So Anna was killed. But why does that bring the FBI here? Cuz I'm nosy. That's why. I have an interest in murder cases involving young women. Well, you know, man, this might just be another case to you, but it means the death of a friend to me. And I don't want you taking this lightly like it's just another case. I never take anything of this nature lightly, I assure you. I'm well, here to apprehend to the fair, perpetrator who did this. this. Game started yeah, development because local in, enforcement uh, can't shine their own boots, 2004. right? Good point. <laughs> you can't always count on the police now. Started development in 2004. But that doesn't mean you're going took to Took six years to come out. Yourself. So it came out in 2010. Wait. How do you know my name? I memorized the name of every citizen before arriving in town. I also know about you and your significant other. You mean Becky? Don't underestimate the FBI. We know and see everything. I'm sorry if I was a little harsh. I want to help, I do. Okay? Okay, Zach, I'll tell you how I knew his name. He's got a small Q hey, on his hat. And that was the only name beginning with Q that I could think of. He was even kind enough to tell us his girlfriend's name. I can read him like a book, Zach. Wait, I'm not done talking to you. Hmm. Oh, okay, I guess I am done talking to you. Right. Quint, move! Yo! Hey, I'm working here. You can't just stroll into a chef's kitchen. I'm FBI. I can do what I then want. Then perhaps you would give me your permission to enter. No! Get the hell out of here! We're not gonna take this. York, arrest him. Zach, everyone has their own sanctuary. What? Let's leave him in his. No! Nick's a dick. Arrest him. Arrest him! Hey! I'm working here. Okay, he just yells at me again. Alright. Um, how am I enjoying the game? I am enjoying it immensely. I'm on, let's see, hour 905? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Olivia. Olivia Cormack. Your husband's a dick. He won't let me come into the kitchen. Olivia. Now that's a lovely name. Do you think so? You're the only one who's ever said that other than my father and Nick. Oh, it's a very good name. You should be proud of it. There's that famous singer, too, isn't there? From the 70s? Yeah. She's actually from England, but she's got this really strong image of being an American pop singer. Uh-huh. That's it. Olivia Newton-John. You know of her, right? Yeah, she's not she only a successful singer, she's successful oh. as an actress, too. Personally, I really liked Xanadu back in 1980. She played a cute fairy and just looked amazingly stunning. It's hard to believe she was 32 at the time. 
Right, Zach? Uh, sorry, I'm not sure what you're talking about. Really? That's a shame. You should watch it when you get a chance. You'll learn to love your name. Oh, okay. He's like, okay. okay. <laughs> so, Olivia, do you know anything about Anna that might be helpful to me? Oh, she was a bright and lovely girl. I can't believe she... Did she ever look worried or anxious? No, not really. I just... I, I can't believe it, really. I'm never going to see her again, am I? She was here with us. So happy and energetic just a few days ago. She and I... We were getting all excited over some new dessert. Thank you, then. If Sky, you remember anything Nick else, is just a dick. let me know. <laughs> He's an asshole to York most of the game. <laughs> Hi there. I know this case is important, but would you like to order something? Since you came all the way to the diner, you know? You should try out Nick's, um, my husband's cooking. People around here say it's really good. Olivia. That sounds like a wonderful idea. As you said, I'm here after all. This definitely is a diner. And a diner is a place to eat. I almost forgot that most basic fact. What do you think, Zach? I think we should look at the menu. <laughs> She's like, so you weirdo, do you wanna do you wanna order something? <laughs> Let's uh talk first. I wanted to ask if you noticed anything strange about Anna. Oh, I can't I can't think of anything really. Okay, well, then that's fine. Did you find anything that might lead you to the murder? I'm sorry, but I can't discuss the details of an ongoing investigation. Any reason why, you ask? No, just I hope that you catch him soon. The killer. The killer that killed Anna. Not me. I am not the killer. <laughs> Don't worry about that. I'll catch him. Yes, I hope you do. I'll let you know if I remember anything. Zack, is she just curious about our progress with the investigation, or does she know something? Hi there. Where are you stuffing that teapot, lady? Okay. Anna was such a lovely girl. Please, catch the murderer. Don't worry, I will. I know who it is already, but... <laughs> Unfortunately, I, I can't do anything until the end of the game. Let's see the menu. We got cornbread, roast turkey, clam chowder, omelette containing fried rice, onion rings, macaroni salad, and that's it. Well, I'm currently not hungry, so I am not ordering anything. Yo! Yeah. Sally, Anna's mother, is kind of unstable, you know? Post-traumatic stress will do that to you. Exactly. So, she's not able to walk around too much by herself yet. And that's why I'm bringing her lunch and driving her around. That's very kind of you. Well, she's close with my old man, and I was friends with Anna. I mean, that's the least I could do for her, right? Yeah. Sally, I hope she gets over this soon. Yeah, it's gonna probably be a while. Quint. Okay. Kid, are you still drinking weird? Yes, you are. I think he has a drinking problem. <laughs> I just love how he sh Whoa! <laughs> Shoving it in his eye. Um, Olivia? Olivia! I... Thanks. The 
menu lists several specials. So what I picked up earlier were some recipes, which will come in handy with Emily's side missions, which are cooking related, and we have to get certain items to help her complete her, her cooking tasks. So the first one is cheddar cheese, which I already have on my person, but it's like a clue so you can get your food items ahead of time because by the time you can work with her, the grocery store is already closed. So the stuff in red are things you need to buy or pick up at some point. All right, let's leave. Okay, we'll go, we'll go back and do the race now. I just saw Quint and I'm like, oh man, I gotta go. I gotta go talk to him. And I gotta keep an eye on the time as well. I wanna get there at least a half an hour before Shira's office closed so George can kick me out. Let's get his driving conversation. I wonder what he says. Man, Quint is still glitched. <laughs> I thought I had like hopes that maybe he'd be normal because the mirror was fixed, but it doesn't look like that's the case. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. That's all he says. And it's just mainly Quint who ends up having driving issues in this game. Or floating randomly. At least in my experience. So I think at one point, we were probably supposed to be able to go into this bank. Because it's uh, in red on the map. Same with the farms here. But I guess it probably got cut out due to time. Which is a shame. Lily ends up coming here often. She does her errands around town and one of them is to go to the bank. So we see her go in there. But if you take a close look at the door, like, it's not a bank in there. It is a grocery store. You see, uh, it's kind of hard because it's the opacity's down, but you see like a little, like, basket for food. It looks like, it looks like the milk barn here. <laughs> but it's supposed to be the bank. Now open at 6.30. That's a lie. You're never open. Does he say anything? Okay. Good night, runner. Thank you so much for coming to hang out. I believe there's a post on Tumblr with Sally doing this as well. I have not seen Sally leave her house unless she was with Quint to go to the um, bar and then come back home again with a ride from Richer and or, or Quint. So if she's there, I would, I would love to see it. Like I said, I spent years trying to find her at the bar with no success. I wouldn't be surprised if I missed it somehow. All right, we are gonna go do the street race now.
So a lot of players end up waiting waiting to do these races when they uh, either upgrade the police vehicles or get a faster car, but like I said last night, you can actually win these races just with the regular patrol car with no upgrades and without using the siren boost. You just have to know exactly where you need to go and don't make any uh, dopey t turns like I've been doing. What am I running into? What the? There's nothing in front of me, game! I guess there's an invisible bush. Van, get out of the way. I like how all these slowpoke cars are out in the road when I'm trying to do this. <laughs> Don't mind me, York. I'm just trying to be a normal citizen here in Greenvale and you're just racing in the streets for no reason. might even be harder to do on a faster car given how bad the handling is on some of them like quint's car is pretty fast yeah agreed like all the all the races have pretty tight turns at some point and it's really hard on using the faster cars you end up <laughs> doing lots of barrel rolls York, do a bear roll. Marvelous. You endangered the citizens of Greenville by racing in the streets and rolling your car. Here's some money and a trading card. Okay, um... I'm having a brain fart. I can't remember... I think the milk barn's closed at the moment. Well, we can go meet uh, Jack and Gina at the... Oh shoot, my car's on the other... Wait, I could have opened the gate. I'm an idiot.
I do not want to do the race again. <laughs> I mean, I guess I could have just exited out of the race. This is not where I parked, York. I was in the parking lot. You could have at least parked there. Too. Maybe, uh, well, no, we know that this the storage room is by the bathroom. I don't know. Yeah, I wonder as well. Like, you don't see any stairs. So maybe the storage room or something, there's stairs that lead up and it's like an attic. I don't know. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. You got some uh, invisible bushes here. So Zach, you want to talk about- No, I do not want to talk about bridges. <laughs> I'm having PTSD right now. <laughs> so if you guys didn't know, when the second game came out, the talk button uh, was not a thing. And uh, York just talked to Zach. And he would repeat the same conversations just over and over and over again. And while I was playing, he kept talking about bridges. <laughs> <laughs> like, I don't want to talk about bridges, dude. Finally, I think after, in the first patch, they, they, uh, they put back in the talk button. It's like, I, I wish you, I really wish you'd just be silent, York, because your conversations in the second game suck. When I hear it for, like, the 20th time. hurry over to the milk barn before Lily leaves. I'll get uh, Jack and Gina when I head back to the sheriff department.
Oh shit, she already left. Well. Have I played uh, Death Stranding? No, I've not. I guess I'm gonna go fishing instead. Since she's already doing her errands. Hello, Yellow Game Boy. How's it going? Oh, nice. We got Gina. We can do her side mission real fast. Oh, I've never seen you here before. You in town to see some sights? I'm here to solve a murder. What's your name? I'm Gina. Folks call me the Rose. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI special agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Grant. He's Grant's. still inside. FBI. Wow, how cool. And oh, I like that scar. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? Ugh. I hate that complex stuff. Let's have a more simple conversation. Simple? Yeah. Do you want gas or not? Hmm. Uh-huh. Is, is Washington a, a full-service state? Not, not a self-serve? Hey, people really like my service. They like it when I put it in. And they like it when I pull it out. Do you like the way it pump it? <laughs> okay, well, we're gonna buy. Just thrust it in there. Wow, 15 bucks. You barely touched my car. This makes it your sixth time <laughs> to thank you for being one of our best customers. Today, you get the special service. Nice. Here we go. <laughs> Ooh. Bubbles. Ma'am, you're not even Watch touching my car. Shiny. Mm, looks so pretty. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Thomas washes his own car just so he doesn't have to deal with this. I mean, that's fair. I mean, who would you rather, Gina or Jack, to wash your Ooh, car? <laughs> that was fun. I mean, Come Jack again. just spits on I'll it. I'll give you the special service every time from now on. See ya. You need to zip up your pants, lady. Zack, that was some aggressive car washing. She's crazy. Like a cat in heat. You may have liked it, but I never want to go through that again. He actually does not like it, we learned. <laughs> when you do the, you do the side mission with, with Zack in, in chapter 26. Okay, let's see if we can get Jack to pop out. Jack. Damn it.
He does make some great you biscuits and I ain't some seen you uh, a great before. ham as well. Jack the Raging Bull. I'm Francis York Morgan, FBI Special Agent. I'm investigating the death of Anna Graham. Do you have any info on Anna or any suspicious individuals? I ain't got nothing to tell the cops. What about the FBI? Shut up. At least give me your name. I'm Jack. They call me Raging Bull. That's a manly nickname. <laughs> shut it. If you're a customer, act like one and shut the mouth. Huh? I don't talk with customers. <laughs> okay, so if we try to talk to him, he'll, he'll <laughs> tell me to go away. So we're going to start. Okay, this is how he washes the car. <laughs> yeah, too bad we can't see his teeth. So on his character model, he has like a grill. <laughs> and it says, does it say heaven? Heaven and hell, or is it just like heaven? I can't remember. Oh, wait. And let me fill this up. And the car washes in the game actually restore your your car's um, life to back to 100%. Because when you crash into things, um, it gets damaged. And if you damage your car too much it will explode and your ghost gets sent to the hospital <laughs> so it's good to get your car washed if your car is uh heavily damaged both okay 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 jack both. here's and the ben franklin a simple you on his tongue. give it to me oh what kind of simple is on his tongue which uh which version of this game is your favorite to play well <clears throat> It's actually the PC version, only because I can make multiple saves. Like, I can go into my save folder and, like, pull out saves and whatnot. And I can really play this game at any point I want. Because when you replay chapters, you can't actually save the game. So it's a lot easier for me to, you know, run around looking for particular optional conversations or doing any sort of research. So I prefer to play it on PC. Um... But for recommending a version for people to actually play, uh, I usually say, you know, PC version if you can get it on sale. It's on sale right now, guys, for $2.50 on Steam. Uh, because your mileage may vary. It might not work for you. It works fine on my PC, but it might not work for yours. I tell people 360 is the least complicated glitchy version because it works it doesn't crash you just have to deal with some wonky gameplay uh or game controls uh after that i say switch with the caveat that you need to save all the time because it will crash randomly i think my least favorite version to play is the ps3 version just because it's so laggy Um, it, it runs okay for me. I'm not running anything special. Like, I don't have DP fix or anything on there. I just have the 4 gigabyte patch. And I had to disable something from my, um, sound card. So the car wouldn't be making weird ass noises. But that was about it. They have not patched this game since 2013, and they're never going to fix it, which makes me sad. I just want a working port with, like, no caveats. Be able to, like, yeah, play my favorite game, guys. Just pop it in. I don't have to say, well, if you play this version, you got to worry about this. And if you play that version, you got to worry about that. Yeah. Hey there, Benjamin. I wanted to talk to you. Have you heard this yet? Uh, I'll tell you another one. When that was I super fast, and he never t I was taking a sip. <laughs> <laughs> Essentially, we gotta bribe him a couple times, and he'll give you like a little. 
hints. So we're going to end up going to... Zach, did you see that? It was as if we weren't here. I wonder what that was all about. Did it make sense to you? It did. Um, I know you probably missed it because we were taking a drink, but uh, basically he said if we go to Swear 65, there's a dark game we can play and, you know, get prizes. PC, uh, PS3 version either likes you or not. It may lag. It may... So... Playing Red Seed's profile, the, the Japanese version of the original game, I didn't notice, like, lag issues too much. It was mainly with the director's cut version. So I don't know what they did when, excuse me, when they were making that port. But it seems like every port they make comes with, like, more issues. The only downside with playing, um... Red Seed's profile is that, you know, all the text is in Japanese. So, a lot of people ended up playing the Japanese version, Red Seed's profile, because the game was only in North America and Japan for a bit until <clears throat> Rising Star Games released a PAL version later in 2010. But... Good news, if you do have a three if you do have an Xbox, you can get this game on digital, I think still. And it runs really nicely. Like there's not as much lag on modern hardware hard Xbox hard hardware. So I really say the PS3 version is the laggiest, the director's cut. Out of all the releases. Okay, yeah, we're gonna fish, and then I'm gonna smoke and see if I can catch... Oh, Lily doesn't get back until... I'm trying to remember, I think 1600. So we'll catch Quint and Richard having lunch. I'll talk to them, and then we'll head over to... The milk barn, talk to Keith and Lily, maybe do Lily's first side Zach, mission. Is there something here that you want to check out? And We're supposed book to go it through over to file the, at the sheriff's, sheriff's department office, but and if you want to act on get a there before it's closing you. so I can start George's side mission and then get kicked out because it's fun. I'm just kind of trying to be a little bit chill with this playthrough and like I'm trying to show you guys as much as I can but trying not to be too anal about it <laughs> like I usually am because it has been like two years since I last played and I don't remember every everything unfortunately if you brought a really like show you everything I can play through you should check out my my let's play on my YouTube channel Oh, boo. Just not having luck with fishing this time around. Oh no, it's Ty's trying to kill him again. This is exactly how you play the Elder Scrolls games. Exploring the hell out of the world, doing everything I can before actually getting the You know, that, I think that's how most people play any sort of open world game. It's like all about the side mission stuff and the main game can wait. I remember when... My sister was playing Final Fantasy VIII. Uh, it was all about the triple triad card game. Saving the world could take a backseat to that. <laughs> and I was like, are you going to actually do any of the main mission stuff? <laughs> She's like, no. <laughs> that game was fun, though. I haven't played Final Fantasy VIII in like two decades. Yeah, I think the last time I played it was maybe early 2000s. I did I did remember what they they actually released trading cards and I was collecting like all the triple triad cards. I think I have a full set. All right. So what's my plan here? Uh I guess Oh wait, I can get the trading card there. And so 
suspect. Oh, suspect is Keith. I was like, who's there? Like, no, it's Keith. Uh, okay, let's, uh, I guess, collect some card, more cards, and then I'll head over and bother Quint and his dad while they're, they're eating lunch. And then head over to the milk barn. You only played nine and 12 and like an hour. Three. You know, I started 12. I don't know how, I can't remember how far. I think that may be, I got a bit into it, like 12 or 14 hours. And then I don't know what happened. I just ended up like, I didn't play for a bit. And then it just felt like too much work to go back to it. And I never finished the game. I feel bad. <laughs> Not, wait, was that 12? No, I finished 10, 10, 2. Was that 11? No, 11 was the online one. Yeah, 12 was the one I didn't finish. And then I never played 13. I did play, I did play Remake. I did enjoy that one. I'm looking forward to the next part of that, but I will have to get a PlayStation 5, unfortunately. Um, which I might end up getting just to play Silent Hill 2 Remake if my computer cannot handle it. Uh, but I never played the, the online ones. I used to be really into the Final Fantasy series, and then I just sort of fell out of it. Like, when I was younger, I used to just watch my brother play video games. I never played them really for myself. I mean, I played, like, the off game. Like, I remember the first game I ever beat was Maniac Mansion when I was a kid. Uh, but I, I always thought like the games would be too hard or I, I wouldn't be able to handle it. I don't know what my mindset was, but he was the one who played the games and I would just watch him. It was like watching a movie for me. Um, it wasn't until Final Fantasy VII came out and I was like, you know what? I really want to play this for myself. And I got into it and then I'm like, oh, I love video games. And I ended up getting my own PlayStation and then after that, it was like I played Resident Evil, and I was like, oh my god, survival horror is the bomb. And then Silent Hill came out, and then I was just gone. I was like, yeah, survival horror games for the win. And then I just started playing games, you know, all on my own. And I've been gaming ever since. So I, I should thank Final Fantasy VII for inspiring me to, to take the plunge. Or I wouldn't be wasting, you know, 900 hours on... <sighs> Deadly premonition today. <sighs> Sorry, York, I didn't mean to make you almost die there. Final Fantasy games are fun, but I grind like mad. And they take forever to beat as a result. I get too burned out as a result, so I never actually completed any of them. I actually, when, when I was playing 10-2... I grinded the shit out of it. So by the time I got to the last boss, it was like he was dead within like two hits. My Everybody was maxed out. I did like the impossible dungeon thing. It was like defeating that the last boss with nothing. <laughs> you dropped 12 because you got into some rather difficult dungeon. Got absolutely devastated by some rare monster. Didn't feel like going back to the surface that night and never played it again. <laughs> yeah, sometimes things like that happen. You just, you put a game down, you're like, oh, I'll come back to it. And you're like, no, I, I really don't feel like it. Ugh. Keep misjudging my turns here. The only Persona game I've played is five. And and that's it. <laughs> I, I They're coming out with a remake of three, right? Th did I see that on Twitter? <laughs> At some point, this pipe's gonna break. I'm waiting for it to break. 
it had really good music. I ended up watching in the endurance run for Persona 4. So I experienced it watching other others play that one. I was like, you know what, I'll, tr I'll try Persona 5. Wait, I can't remember which... Oh, I think it's this one I can climb. Oh, I thought I was going up the stairs. Oops. Oh, I climbed the wrong stairs. <laughs> Oops. I like collecting Agent Honor, if you guys can't tell. <laughs> I like uh, York getting lots of money for his work goofing around in Greenvale. Okay, it's almost lunchtime for uh, Keith. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, I was talking with one of my friends on uh, Saturday. I used to be really into anime and stuff, but now it's like, uh, a lot of it centers around high schoolers. I'm like, I don't know. I'm just not into this anymore. <laughs> I'm too old. <laughs> Like the high school drama and stuff. Zach, just, is there mm. something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's Not office. Not my jam but anymore. If you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Dude, that's my same thing with Final Fantasy. I finally passed the age where I can be <laughs> can't be a Final Fantasy protagonist. <laughs> Unrelatable. It. Uh, yep, we're all we're all too old now. We can't be an anime protagonist. Alright, let's smoke. So in case you guys didn't know, you can pass time in the game by just smoking cigarettes. I know a lot of people go through the game sort of just driving around, wasting time, waiting to go on to the next main mission, but that's not necessary. You can just smoke. And I know you. it might have been a little confusing given this this really vague description a very rare and strong brand smoking them will make you forget the time is going by <laughs> I think... oh it's still closed wait oh there we go about to say we should be having lunch now you're almost 32. <laughs> We're so old, you guys. <laughs> this is the check out check out his trailer. Like look how big this is. It's pretty fancy. He has a huge bed. I can see why Sally wants to stay here. Looks like a bedroom. We can't go intruding in people's bedrooms without a search warrant, Zach. We intruded on Anna's bedroom just like an hour ago, York. But I guess it doesn't matter. We also intruded on Sally's bedroom as well to get to that closet. Oh, wow. That bathtub is super small. Holy moly. Like compared, compared to the tubs in the hotel that are super long, that's super tiny. I guess maybe it's supposed to be a shower. I don't see a... Oh well, it doesn't matter. Hey guys! What are you eating? Oh fuck! I'm so sorry! I'm so sorry! I forgot I was armed! <laughs> what are you guys eating? You got... You have a burger? That looks pretty good. <laughs> don't mind me! <laughs> I'm a horrible FBI agent. Hey. Okay. Um. <laughs> Quinn's trying to behave. You know, trying not to make me worry too much. I can tell. I'm his father, after all. 
He looks a little rough around the edges, but he's a good kid. He's been looking after Anna's mother since Anna died. And his girlfriend. She was Anna's best friend, too. They both are kind of leaning on him, you know. They need his support. But he's barely standing, too, so he's doing what he can to stay standing. Every man faces a problem like that, right? Richard, I'll need to know more about your son to answer you on that. I gotcha. Well, you just keep an eye on him. He's a good kid. And tell me if I'm wrong, you know? Parents are blind sometimes. Well, I do know that your son is very quick to want revenge on innocent people. <laughs> so you might want to talk to him about that. Hey! I have faith in Quint. He'll be a really good bartender. He's attentive and he cooks pretty well, too. I'm hoping he'll take over the bar when I retire. Hey, Quint, do you, do you want to be a bartender? Yeah. You know, this might not be the best topic for lunch, but... When Anna died, I was shocked. I was shocked out of my mind. I ended up skipping work, of course. Uh, oh, and of course, my old man wasn't happy about that. My girlfriend was in shock, too. So, you know, I wanted to be with her. I've seen a lot of cases, but this one ranks high in the sadness department. The closely knit community is the sadder it gets. Ah, this entire town is like one big family. Even my old man, he tries not to show it, but he's really hurting inside, too. Yeah? I've learned a lot from my old man. I really respect all he's done for me. Isn't it a little bit awkward to be talking about your daddy sitting right there? I guess not. All right. Korea goes by a Korean age where they consider you one as soon as you're born since you're in your mother's belly for nine months. But starting next week, we're going by real age as a nation. Oh, really? I didn't know that. Oh, and hello, D.N. Amante. How's it going? I still have not made it into the sheriff department because I am dicking around and saying F you to the main mission of this game. Wait, do I want to wait till... I can't remember. Okay, no, I do have to wait an hour. Bye, Quint. Oh, you know what? I should save. <laughs> game, please, please let me save my game. No. Hey. Okay, I guess it won't let me save. What's going on? You come all the way to my house? Hope you're not here for 20 questions. Well, I'm trying to get some rest right now. If you want to talk, could you come by my bar later? Uh, okay, I guess so. I was hoping you'd have... Okay. So I, I mentioned last night that the TV in Swery 65 and then in his trailer will show sports. So it flicks through these sports scenes. Uh, the hotel shows the sweary skydiving photo and Keith's TV will show musical concerts. <laughs> Always waste cops time. Well, at least I want to waste George's time. I just like to think of him sitting there seething like, God damn it, where's York? <laughs> I told him to to get over here and he's dicking around in my town. What is he doing? Oh, come on. Uh, Quinn, is it gonna rain? Oh shit, I should have talked to Becky. Uh... Oh, God. Okay. 
It's about to rain. Let's get to the milk barn. I want to do the lily side mission. And then maybe I can do the whole Becky Quint one real fast. Please don't rain. Don't rain. Don't rain. Don't rain. Let me get to the milk barn. Fuck! <laughs> okay. Ah! Oh, I have not, I, we, are, we are still in the, for, I have not even stepped foot into the sheriff department, so no, I've not gotten the, uh, the radio. <laughs> I can't get that until, uh, the next chapter, So, anyway. you're the talk of the town. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. That's what everyone always calls me. The name's Keith. A pleasure meeting you, York. Sure is a big scar. It's bigger than I thought it would be. So, Keith, I have a couple of questions about the incident. Huh? Sure, fire away, man. Did you know Anna, Graham? Yeah, of course, man. Poor little Anna. She was such a nice girl. I mean, what kind of sicko would do that to her? Well, I'm here to catch that sicko. Well? Listen, even the smallest piece of information might be useful to me. If there's anything you noticed or want to let me know, contact me. Okay, will do, bro. You got my cooperation, FBI. Another thing. I'll be frequenting your store during my stay here. So I'll see you around. <laughs> sure thing, bro. We got what you need. So drop in anytime. <laughs> oh, I will. I'll drop in a lot. Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Okay, yeah, I, I don't want to browse merchant. I want to talk to you. I was getting in trouble because my list isn't all that it's supposed to be. If man, for any reason you don't like my list, I'm cool, I'm cool. You can always ask Lily, her list is always perfect. I'll keep that in mind. So you wanna buy something. All right, no, I wanna talk. Well, what do you think? The store rocks, huh? Ah, certainly. It has a unique atmosphere. Can you feel it? Man, it's been a while since we had a customer in here. Could Elvis, Jimi Hendrix, Eric Clapton, Brian Seltzer, Led Zeppelin, Eagles, and the Beatles. Man, you can almost hear their souls, man, just standing in the store. I don't I don't know. I, I don't get that feeling here, but I mean you're having fun. Ah, I agree. That type of sicko is also, is called a murderer. <laughs> we just had a little rat of a Nia. Oh, what happened, Sky? Ah, I agree. Speaking of which, there's this one Beatles album jacket that I really liked. The one with them all dressed in white holding pieces of dolls. Oh, right. Yesterday and today. Yeah? Yep. All of them are laughing except for Ringo, who doesn't look too happy. Yeah, he kind of has like this grimace on his face. <laughs> My cousin Andy gave that one to me back in high school. York has a cousin named Andy, everybody. Whoa, man, you're the first person I've met who actually owns that. Not really? I'm surprised. You'd think there'd be more Beatles fans. You rock, FBI. Not that much, Keith. Well, come back anytime. Let's talk rock, bro. I mean... Hey, bro! Sure. You rockin'? We're supposed to be the children of rock, right? That means we're brothers united under one parent called rock. You follow me, bro? Sure. Alright. I gotta go talk to your wife. Lily! FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. And you are? Lily Ingram. My husband owns the convenience <laughs> store. <laughs> yeah, it's a weird we looking cover, sons. right? <laughs> I like to think that I'm just a regular wife in a regular family. Aside from the point that our sons were the first witnesses to the crime scene. You seem pretty calm considering their involvement in such a big murder case. <laughs> you think so? I'm glad to hear that. 
Anyway, if I looked all bleak and gloomy, I think it would hurt our business. Uh... Agent Morgan, about that scar... Uh, Lily, please don't call me that. You call me York if you can. People have been calling me York for a long time. You're a silly one. No, not at all. I'm just a regular special agent. <laughs> no, you're, you're pretty silly, York. <laughs> so what were you about to say, Lily? New Zealand? Huh? Uh, about my scar? Um, They're I'm selling sorry. New Zealand. I seem to have background. forgotten. It's because you said something silly. I see. Well, if you remember anything important, just let me know. I will. I'll probably be making use of your store during my stay here. So I'll see you from time to time. Okay, I'll see you soon then. So Game Boy, yeah. So depending if you go out and meet, meet the characters outside the town meeting, your, introdu your introduction will be different. The only one whose introduction stays the same, I think, is, is, is Quint and Keith. Their, 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 their vocal, like, conversation with York is the same whether you meet, excuse me, meet them before the town meeting or at the town meeting. I remember when I was replaying it, I just assumed everyone's converse, like, meeting conversation was the same as if I met them at the town meeting. And I was so surprised that there, it, it varied, you know, it, it, so when I meet them later on in chapter six, uh, what they'll, what they'll say to York will actually be different than if you met them at the, at the meeting. So lots of, of conversation variants in this game. So it makes replaying this game so much fun, in my opinion. Okay, well, no, Lily, I need Hi to do your, your side mission. It's hard to get everything out in the countryside, countryside like this, hun. Uh. But we do get our supplies from the city, so we should have what you need. No problem. This shop is just the right size for finding things. Really? I'm glad then. If you can't find what you want with Keith, then please come and ask me. He only tends to remember the things that he likes himself. So there's some stuff he'll probably forget to offer you. Like healthy snacks and shit. <laughs> Then why don't you look after the store? Uh, I couldn't do that. He owns the place. Uh, it wouldn't do him any good to rely on me all the time either. Uh, you shouldn't do anything to destroy the confidence of those you love. Uh, right, hon? You're a very understanding woman. Uh, anyway, uh, Keith works better when he's confident. Uh, when he works well, that lightens the load on me. I see. It's a clever strategy. I wouldn't have the patience to carry out that strategy. Uh, now stop being silly. Uh, well, did you want to buy something? I can show you what we got. Okay. No. Oh, and I wanted to point out. Um, Lily points out his scar, and I really love that the redesign with York actually has like you know the the little nicks from the Catwoman wannabe and you see a faint outline of the scar through through his eyebrow um talking with I, I just I, I okay well I can't I can't speak what I like so much about this game is the subtle hints that they're seeing something that we're not because yeah he has a little scar but it's not large enough for them to keep commenting on it right but then, of course, you find out later that what we're seeing now is not what the townsfolk are seeing. They see a much larger scar with Zack. And I, I love that sort of, you know, hint that what we're seeing isn't really true. But we're going to talk and we're going to do her side mission. You always look like a busybody. Is the job working you that hard? <laughs> it's it's not so bad, huh? I've gotten used to it now, really. I'll need a bigger scar to, to be deserve that easy. name. Sometimes it's important to take a laid-back approach. Pressing forward too quickly can be a recipe for disaster. You're being silly. Oh, yeah. Hun, if you have time on your hands, can I ask you a favor? Such as? Nothing major. It's just our storage room is a total mess. Keith just makes it worse every time he tries to clean it up. And I can't move the heavy boxes in there. How I used to ask Keith my father to help us out. If he's but, so incompetent. Well, he's not that young anymore. Of course, I'll give you something in return. 
If you tidy the place up, I'll give you this. What's that? A bronze card. It's a discount card for the milk barn. You'll be able to buy things cheaper with this. I think it'll help you lower your investigation expenses. So you're saying that helping you out will ultimately help the investigation. Zach, what do you think? I don't mind if you want to help her. Let's do it! Thank you, hon. The storage room is this way. Keith probably inherited it or something. Yeah, true. Okay. She says it's messy, but I'm sorry. The storeroom looks pretty clean. Okay. This is one change in the uh, director's cut I do not understand. They basically took out all the isometric views that like you used to be able to have an isometric view of this room. It made it a lot easier to solve this puzzle. Uh, I don't know why, why they removed it completely. Okay, I'm trying to remember. Does, I think this one, that one goes there. That one goes over there, and I think this one goes over there. I hope I'm right. Like, what is in this crate? <laughs> Another kind of sad thing with the, with the change in camera views is I remember in during the, you know, last battle, you're running down the stairs uh, in the clock tower. It used to change views, so you got more of like a cinematic uh, a view of... of you know, case and chasing you, but uh, it, it's not there anymore with the director's cut, which is a shame. Thank you, hun. You've been a big help. You're a real hero. A hero. This puzzle you gave you so much stress. I was never a fan you? of. I can tell you now, hun. You're that kind of guy. It's anyway, definitely more stressful reward, with with You've the with it. the non-isometric view. It's like, oh shit, I gotta remember how to where the we'll give placement you a discount is. from your next purchase. Thank you, Lily. Be but be if you guys get stuck, get I got you covered. Just go so. to my uh, Agent York, fan you're a site. Good person. My father doesn't seem to appreciate you yet, but I do. And I'm sure Keith and the boys feel the same. Come by any time, okay? Oh, I'll, I'll be here a lot. Because I want to waste time. But, oh. Hi there. Uh, you really are a funny one. Uh, I wonder how you were raised to be that way. Damn, Lily. <laughs> well, I'll have you know, uh, I'm an orphan. My parents died tragically in front of me. I use, um, I use jokes and comedy and being silly as a coping mechanism. Do you feel awkward yet? All right. Let's uh, buy some more cigarettes since I used a few. Why can't I carry like 40 cigarettes? This game pisses me off. Let's buy some onions and I already have cheese. Let's get a straight sandwich. Okay, let's put the onion in here.
Oh, no. I don't want to accidentally eat the onion or the egg. Because I'll need those later. Alrighty! Uh, what time is it? Uh, I think I can get the Becky quick side mission done. I do. Welcome, welcome. I still have not made it to the sheriff department. I've been dicking around, so you have not missed much except me running around Greenville. <laughs> There's more than 40 cigs in his inventory. He compulsively smokes the whole pack, so he limited himself. That makes sense. That makes sense. Let's save my game because I'm paranoid it's going to crash. It still hasn't crashed on me yet. In my playthrough, that I, I am pleasantly surprised, though I seem to have good luck when I'm streaming. Alrighty, let's go head over to Becky. I completely forgot about. I mean, I picked up the diary already. I completely forgot I can go uh, start that already. I just want to get there before the sheriff department closes so I can start. Uh, I do George's first side mission and get kicked out. So I still have plenty of time to do that, I think. Tremors. I think Fred Ward was in it. You say Fred Ward and I say, Remo Williams, the adventure begins. That one was back in 85, Ooh. I think. Directed by Guy Hamilton. Guess Hamilton was aiming to start a series like 007, but it had no sequels. A real shame. Do you remember the martial arts they used in that film? Called Sinanju? The ultimate in martial arts, using no weapons at all. Remo's master Chun ran across water, remember? And he loved soap operas. Oh yeah, you Man, should put a link character. to your, your Tumblr account Gray, so people can go check out your cool theories. Of course, in Remo, he had so much makeup on you couldn't tell. Funny you should say that, uh, Game Boy. I actually recently watched American uh, American Werewolf in London in one of my discords oh shit I just missed that uh, Agent Honor uh, one of my discords watch parties finally I've I st there's still a lot of movies I need to watch I just have not watched them <laughs> uh, but yeah I think it would be really fun maybe to I have the list of the movies he talks about. Maybe just go through and like watch all of the movies that York mentions. <laughs> oh, and thank you for subscribing with Prime. I really appreciate it. All right. I like how Becky has a stabilizer. I'm just stealing from her. All right, Becky. I got your. I got Anna's diary. Uh, Anna's diary. FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please, call me York. That's what everyone calls me. FBI? The police? Fuck the police. I've got nothing to say to you. Please, go away. Man, if she just was honest with York right now, it's always hard could to have think saved of a, a lot of lives. Talk about when you meet someone new. But wouldn't Anna's death be a common subject we can talk about? I don't want to talk about it. No matter how many times you try, okay? Just leave me alone. Go away. Is there some reason you want to be alone? Anna, my best you got friend the pickles. was just killed. How would you feel? I see. You and Anna were really close. I'm sorry. My favorite But I'm is... just doing my job. If you think of anything you want to talk about, contact me, okay? That'll never happen. I don't really like the police. Oh, oops, I need to move this out. Mind if I ask you a couple of questions? I've got nothing to say. Oh, you did? How'd you like Attack of the Killer Tomatoes? I remember watching that Maybe when I was a kid. Maybe this will change your mind. And that's 
Anna's diary. Let me read you a part that I find very interesting. Dear Diary, Today's the day of the ceremony, and I'm a little nervous about it. There was also a cartoon. I used to watch the cartoon when I was a kid. I can't remember no idea. what it was about, but I remember watching it. Okay. What about these, then? He has let anything terrible slip. taste. I agree with that. I'm really worried about Becky. Delivery man Q won't be able to protect Becky. Your name twice. An unnamed he, and then this delivery man Q. You don't want to talk? Or are you too scared to talk? Stupid cops. <laughs> Just leave me alone. Becky's like, all cops are bad. Zach, Fuck this you. is a problem. How can we get her to open up? Well, we can Maybe go we bug her boyfriend. I'm looking to delivery man Q. Let's see if I can get over there. Wait, did she say anything else? <laughs> How can I reach these kids? He just needs to get a skateboard and, and go. How you doing, fellow fellow kids? No, but seriously, you'd think, I mean, if I was in her position, York is not part of this town. I would feel safer talking to him. Than, I mean, I understand why she doesn't want to talk to cops. It, it, it makes sense, considering George. But York is unin uninvolved with the, with the sheriff department. In fact, he still has not even gone to the sheriff department at this point. Put some trust in York. You're all the same. Go away. No. York's better. Okay. So let's go to Quint. Really hope I can get this done before the sheriff department closes. Yeah, he can do a click... Uh, Bob, a kick flip. He sure can. <sighs> I used to think, for some dumb reason, that that door led to her bedroom. I don't know why. But, like, what? Oh, did I even? I'll get the. I'll get the agent on it when I come back. I don't know how long I was thinking that the door led to her bedroom, but. But it's funnier to think that every time he comes to that door. He's getting her to come out of her bedroom, walk down like a couple hallways to, to talk to him. Now, Joel Gray's daughter is, of course. That's right, Jennifer Gray. You knew that, right, Zach? Yes. Jennifer Gray. She's in one of my most favorite movies Ferris Bueller's Day Off. Good movie. 1986, directed by John Hughes. <laughs> that one was so 80s. <laughs> Zach, you're not the most cheerful guy I know, but you really do like those cheerful movies. We used to love those awesome. teenage movies back then, didn't we? Breakfast Club and Pretty in Pink, St. Elmo's Fire, and Fast Times at Ridgemont High. That last one was in 1982, Favorite directed by Amy Hecker. Uh, now, that was an impressive film. You've got Sean Penn in the lead, hmm. with Jennifer Jason Lee and Phoebe Cates, not to mention Nicolas Cage and Forrest Whitaker were in it, too. I do and like the original this book FBI and the script jam. were written by Cameron Crowe. I, I, I also do film? like Emily's because it's that? hilarious. When that movie ended, <laughs> the last words, the end, was from an arcade uh, and... game. That's right, it was from Missile Command. That stuck in my head for a while. The memories. I feel like I have a lot of movies to catch up on. Let's just hope we can get to the end of this case soon. Oops. Then maybe we can catch I up on a few. I also like Usher's. Give some thought about what the, movie that you weird, want to see like, next, Kind of dance track he has. It's pretty cool. What what about you? What's your which which one is your favorite uh, car track, you guys, in this game? Mm-hmm. Hmm. Quint. Have you ever heard 
heard of someone called De Delivery Man Q? Uh. Whoa, this is coming out of left field. I mean, yeah, it is. Uh. What are you trying to find out? Uh. Delivery Man Q doesn't ring a bell. Ask someone else. Okay, I'll just raid your fridge. Take your cola. Hmm. Oh, he just says the same thing. Okay. Thought maybe it was different because it was in yellow. Look at his bag of water. Oh, I like this photo of them, though. That's cute. Look at that. Selfie. Oh, we got some porn mags there. Lover of music. Dude, please walk away from your bike so I can do the side mission. Thank you. Nope. Walk further away, please. Thank you. <sighs> He's distracted by his selfie photo with Becky. Zach, look at this red powder. This must be what Delivery Man Q was transporting. Oh my. A motorbike in the process of being assembled. An R1200 limited model. Not bad at all. Hey Quint, I found your um health food. Hmm. What do you want, Agent York? Well, I want you to have this left hand bone. What? A gift for me? I can't take that. I know what you cops earn for a living. Well, technically, he's an FBI agent. I think he probably makes more than a cop does. Hmm. Alright. I like how he's not at all disturbed that I tried to hand him a, a hand bone. Um, I found this in your bike. What is it, Quint? It's, uh, it's just health food. Health food? That's right. Oh, hi, uh, insomniosis. Grounded Welcome. like coffee beans made from the seeds of a plant. Totally legal. All right? Totally legal. So why was it in the tank of your bike? I couldn't find anywhere else to keep it while I was riding. Because it's a secret. Uh, I just forgot that it was in there. You know, riding along and you suddenly get hungry. Or maybe you find someone on the road who really needs food. Can't you give me an honest answer? I'm telling you the truth. Very well. If you must persist in lying. You won't mind if I take this and get it looked at, will you? Uh, hold on. You said it was totally legal, right? Yeah, his voice then actor is, is, is really good. I think all the voice Am acting in this game this? is really good. No, it, it's Considering nothing. they only recorded just it in like two want. weeks. Go ahead, just take it. I think they all did a really good job. Okay. Uh, I guess I have to go back to yeah. Becky. I'll tear this up on the highway on this BD one day. The road stretching ahead, the wind whipping past. There's no other feeling like it, and riding a bike is the only way to get it. All right. Oh, let's look at his bedroom. Yeah. Apparently, we can only go into Sally and Anna's bedrooms without a warrant, but we can go in everyone else. Uh, we can't go in anyone else's bedroom. Yeah, I I love the the wallpaper choice in this trailer as well. Do you have a really weird looking tub? No. All right. Okay, let's rush over to Becky's. See if I can get this done. Uh... Was I the only one who? did not understand what the weather doll did at first. I thought for a moment when I got it that I could control the weather and I was so excited. <laughs> and then it was like, nothing's happening when I'm I'm using this doll. <laughs> I 
No, you too. Okay, good. <laughs> it, it, I, I, it, oh, shit. I'm going the wrong way. Uh, I don't know if I'll make it in time. I'll try, I'll try, I'll try. I think I can do it if I... Because the sheriff department is still pretty far. Just want to get that wrench, baby. What the? Whoa! <laughs> that curb was... <laughs> uh, curb was higher than I thought, I guess. Uh, no, I'm going to go to Becky. And then... Go to the department. Because it closes at 1700. So I can still make it to Quint before he uh, leaves for Sally, I think. Well, I don't know. Maybe I can make it. I think I can make it. I just gotta be fast. Yeah, the descriptions in this game are very uh, misleading. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office. Yeah, 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 we're gonna get there. We're gonna get there. If you want to on a hunch, then I'm with you. Gotta talk to Becky. <sighs> what do you want? I want to give you a hand. And that's supposed to be what? <laughs> No one cares of giving them a bone. <laughs> Show me whatever you want. I'm still not going to talk to you. Now, will you go away? No, 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 no. I'm not going away. I love you, Becky. Come on, talk to me. Have you met Thomas at the apartments? I find it so neat that there's a slightly different intro cutscene on the off chance. Yes, I have. Where'd you get <laughs> that? Quint's trailer. He's delivery man Q, isn't he? You don't I mean, have to I hide guess it I could do that. I'm on your side. I could save the game you know? and then uh, go to yes, his apartment and I could show you guys that, that meeting but instead. But he's got nothing to do with Anna's death. So please just leave him alone, okay? I beg you. That all depends on what else you can tell me, Becky. Yeah, because he has a, his being a delivery payphone man right Q outside his apartment. He had I can, I can tell you guys that. Murder. Is there any way to get him to make a statement about this? <sighs> okay. Just wait here. Give this to Quint and tell him I can't accept it. Awkward. This is very, very awkward, mm -hmm. Becky. That's all I can do. Don't ask me for anything more. You'll get us both killed. Zach, I was hoping we'd get a little bit more out of her, but that's okay. We'll get more when we hand over the ring. This Let's is my this Mr. is my chill Delivery playthrough. I think it's worth happens. it. Let's do it. I'll, I'll, I mean, I'll just save my game and then I'll just reload the save. It's cool. Um. Marty. I don't think I have enough time to make it over to Quint. Let's see what time is it. I wish I remembered <laughs> the stupid Becky sub uh, side mission before I wasted time. Okay, I don't think I have enough time to go to Quint, so we're gonna go back over towards the police department and we'll meet Thomas at his apartment and then I'll reload the save. 
And Quint will still be at his trailer at 1800, so we can still finish out with this. Also, hello, Insomniosis. I am doing well. How are you doing? Oh, you, did you think you, you, did you get COVID? Or do you think you got COVID? Okay, Zach. I've been thinking about what movie I'd like to watch next. And finally, I've made a decision. It's always hard to narrow yeah, it down just to okay one movie. I hope you're feeling okay as well. But I've put a lot of thought into this. And I'm sure you'll agree with me. 1975. Directed by Steven Spielberg himself. The grandfather of panic movies. Set in a small town oh! in Massachusetts. Okay. That movie made me stay away from the beach Did you get, years. were you able to remove it from your computer okay? I like come floating up. You know what I'm talking about, right? Yeah. It's Jaws. The underwater camera work accompanied by that John Williams music. I'd never been that scared by a movie before. But the best thing about it is that it isn't just another panic movie. The mayor who won't close the beach even when there are so many victims. And Chief Brody putting the citizens' lives above all else. The film gave a lot of time to the dispute and friction between them. It certainly had a lot of messages for a two-hour film. That's probably another reason why it was such a record-breaking hit. One of my regrets in life is that I didn't see it at the movie theater. I guess I was still just a child back then. But still, I wanted to taste that terror in real time. That reminds me, Zach. Did you know this one? Jaws also appears in another movie that was produced by Spielberg. The second Back to the Future. It was directed by Robert Zemeckis, who later made Forrest Gump. That's also a masterpiece, of course, but we'll discuss that another time. So, the scene where Jaws appears is right after Marty McFly goes 30 years into the future. He passes by a movie theater and is attacked by a holographic shark. Marty is shocked, of course, but looking closer, he sees the words, Jaws Part 19. The director is credited as Steven Spielberg Jr. In reality, there were actually only four Jaws movies. It was still a great joke. 30 years from 1985 would be 2015. We'll be there pretty soon. I wonder what life would be like by then, Zach. up all his conversation for this chapter. Alrighty. So let me... Whoop. Alrighty. Um, your Google Chrome got Yahoo hijacked? And then when I reinstalled it, I had an even worse scare because I couldn't sign back into Google. I have everything on that account. I was freaking... Oh my god, that would... That's so scary. Uh, there's a lot of messages for a two-hour film. What the fuck are you saying, York? Who knows? <laughs> One major reason why it scared me so bad is because I got locked out of another Google account for no reason before. Yes, I remember that. Um, uh, oh, Game Boy. Did you like the extra cutscene added in the... Um, I thought the cutscenes with the little girl were unnecessary and inane, but I did like the extra, like, little cutscene in the epilogue. That that was the only extra cutscene I liked. <laughs> uh, God, it was so fun celebrating back to the future day back in 2015. Yeah, I remember how fun that was. Well, I mean, I didn't go, but I remember how excited everyone was. Let's see. Back by now? Let's see. Nope. Alright, let's try. Yeah. 
Yeah, Thomas, let's go. You gonna dance? Or are you gonna make your dinner? I was gonna make dinner. What are you making, Thomas? Look at him go, dancing. You're too good for this world, Thomas. No, but seriously, what are you making for dinner? Okay, he might take him a while to actually bring his dinner out. I find it amusing because this view makes it seem like Yorkus is sticking his head through the window. <laughs> and looking in and no one can see him. Oh shit, can you see me? No. So rain selling did not solve the problem, but I found a bit of an out... Tell what he's eating. Is that fish? Okay, let's go uh, bother him. So, rain saline does not solve the problem, but I found a bit of an out of the way area in the settings for searches. I found hundreds of Yahoo search things. The virus hijacks Chrome to use some bogus Yahoo search engine. I had to delete each and every single file one by one. It was I was sore by the end of it. So, do you know what, where you caught it? Where you got the malware? Were you downloading something or anything like that? Uh, her dancing is so cute. It is. I think it's chicken if I remember the texture correctly. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Hello, Thomas. Excuse me, you're... Oh, I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. I like how it pauses with his eyes closed. <laughs> I heard all about you, Agent Morgan. <laughs> Thomas, it's like a go. it's like a messed up photo. <laughs> huh? FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please call me York. That's what everyone always calls me. Yes. Okay. Agent York. Thank you. Now about the case. I just can't believe Anna was murdered. She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. Thomas. Uh, hello. Good evening, Agent York. I was busy with other things. Other things being running around the town collecting Agent Otter and fishing. Uh, Related to the case? Uh, no. Uh, yeah, well, uh, of course it was. Stupid question. I'm sorry. Uh, I'll have the case files for you at the office tomorrow. Uh, Please, can we call it a night now? Uh, I'm the one the sheriff will get angry at if you don't. Oh my god, Thomas, it's not your fault that York is blowing off going to the sheriff department. Uh, really, <sighs> let's talk some more tomorrow. I have no idea where it came from. I wasn't doing anything differently. I think it happened to me before, actually. I think I'm going to write down what I did to get rid of it because it happens to others too. Okay. Ah, that's scary. It's scary like a virus. 
Is Tommen supposed to be a mirror of Ann? I think he is, yes. Also, thanks. Normal way to start the composition. Interaction is a lot more sensitive and sweet without the cartoony music blaring. Yep. <laughs> you got that right. All right. So we are going to reload. I want George to kick me out of the sheriff's Previously during the investigation. So gonna do this plus I want to do his side mission it probably would have been quicker just for me to run across the street but I want to go into the <laughs> the marker with my car. We made it like five minutes before closing, just in time. That's one fine building for such a small town. The exterior woodwork is spectacular. Don't you agree, Zach? I mean, it, it's okay. He is so put out the next day, and it's like, dude, you're the one that kicked me out <laughs> exactly at 5 p.m. <laughs> Uh, uh. Hi, Thomas. Pleasure to meet you, Agent Morgan. We've been expecting you. I'm Thomas McLean, the sheriff's assistant. <sighs> FBI Special Agent Francis York Morgan. Please just call me York. It's what everyone else calls me. Very well then, Agent Agent York. I believe I owe you a thank you for retrieving my belongings from my car. Thanks. Oh, no, no, just doing my job. I just, well, I want to help do everything I can to help the investigation. Do you really, though? I just can't believe Anna do was you murdered. really? She was such a bright and lovely girl. Did you know her well? Well, no, not really. But it's a very small town. I think town. my favorite track from the game I'm sorry. is this it's Green just Bell track. This is the first really big case I've ever seen. I understand. Just try to relax. Can I have a look at Anna's file now? Y yes, of course. The sheriff told me to let you through to the meeting room, but... I've lost the key to the cabinet where the files are. Why don't you take a look around while I go look for it? Okay. Let me know when things are ready. Okay, bye. Zach, Thomas appears to be the kind and sensitive type, totally at odds with the monarch. Almost a good setting for a cartoon. You know, Spidey, go for it. I don't mind. Thomas, Thomas is amazing. All right, let's get that. Oh, that was not what I wanted to grab, but. Oh. Oh my god, can you grab the card? There it goes. <laughs> Where is the dumbbell? There it is. Zach, there's a name written. Oh, 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 I'm sorry. I didn't mean to skip that. The name of it is Arnold, I think. If I remember correctly. Oh, I have two minutes. Hey, shit, I thought I got you back in your normal outfit. Hi. I'm sorry, Emily. This is... <laughs> Could you wrap show me around the office before the meeting starts? I'm sorry, Agent York. I've got my hands full. Could you ask Thomas? I don't think that's a good idea. Why? What's going on? He lost the key to the cabinet with the files. 
He asked me to take a look around the office until he finds it. Well, I hope that doesn't take too long. You you cannot help me, Emily? <laughs> She's just like, have fun with that. Hi. Let me know if there's any... Yeah, you can help me find the key to the, the files, Emily. Oh, there's nothing I need help with. Why don't you lend Thomas a hand? Looking for that key? I hardly know my way around the place. I'd help out too, but I've got my hands full. No keys are allowed to be taken outside, so the key should be somewhere in the office. Whew. Sorry, I'm really busy right now. With what? This murder case should be super important, right? You have the time when... Okay, okay, okay. okay. Let's go talk to George. Hey, buddy. Huh? <sighs> George, do you work out every day? Of course, Agent Morgan. Exercise keeps me healthy. I haven't missed a day since I started in high school. Now that's impressive. Remind me to get more exercise, Zach. But I can't do my full routine today without Arnold. I haven't seen Arnold around since yesterday. Arnold. He's a training buddy of mine. His partner Sylvester misses him too. If you see Arnold around, let me know, will ya? Can't finish my workout menu without him. Okay. I'll keep an eye out for him. Let me just reach into my back pocket here, and I'll give it to you. <laughs> Sorry, I'm really busy with being lazy right now. <laughs> huh? uh. Agent Morgan, did you want something? Yeah, I want to show you this hand bone I found. Uh. Don't bother me unless you have something really... I, I would think finding human remains would be pretty important for you, but okay. I already have enough to worry about with Arnold missing. Uh. And I need to concentrate on my work out here. Hmm. Alright, I found I found Arnold. Oh wait, do you want uh, Becky's engagement ring? <laughs> oh, he says the same thing. Okay, <laughs> never mind. Okay, let's give you Arnold. George, I found Arnold. Really? He was a bit hard-headed. But I got him to come back. Uh. Oh, <laughs> Arnold. Well done, Agent Morgan. Now I can work out using my normal workout menu. Good to hear that. Huh? Nice. Here's a little something to show you my appreciation. Thanks, I got a trading so that makes us card. Even. I don't owe you anything, and you don't owe me anything. No changes to how we work together. Just bear that in mind. Zach? <laughs> he needs some friends who aren't so dumb. The red pennant on his wall is just some random doodle of a cowboy and says smoking redneck. It does? Who is it? Let's see. Let's see. Oh my god! <laughs> I never took a closer look at it. That is hilarious. Oh, I <laughs> that is so weird. Okay, that's great. I love it. <laughs> All right. Hey, George. Mm -hmm. George, I really need to see that file. Could you help us look for the key? I'm sorry, but you'll have to tell Thomas to sort this mess, mess out himself. He needs to learn how to take responsibility. He doesn't want to help out, does he, Zach? No, he doesn't. He's just like Emily. He's being very lazy. 
all of those diplomas and trophies, is it really proof of his competence or just a way to show off? It's just a way to show off. Zack, look at this. Oh, now this is something special. It's the epitome of the old Frontier Sheriff's Office. It's perfect. A stuffed deer's head on the wall. A flag, a hunting rifle. A hunting rifle. Amazing. You'd never see a hunting rifle on the wall of a police department in the city. That's just amazing. Wonder if the sheriff would ever let me shoot it. Probably not. Wait, what is it? One sec. This one says prime time coverage. Okay, he got like a, a promo pennant from some cable network <laughs> that shows football games. Nice. The Almighty King's Throne. Quite classy. He beats the FBI outright in the ego category. Well, you got that right, York. Now, I always wondered if you could see the key in the... But, nope. There's no key in there that I can see. That's too bad. It would not really cool if we could have seen the key. Uh, nothing weird. Look at this guy's desk. I love the framed photo of Jen. I wonder if he's like some sort of wrestler he's a fan of. Here's Thomas's desk, everybody. Looks like Thomas's desk. The cushion looks disturbingly cute, though I figure it's none of our business. But look, he has like a lingerie catalog there. And I like how the computers are not plugged in. This is why you guys can't get any work done. Emily's desk. She has a blanket handy. I figure most women are prone to cold. I know I am. She got cookies and a bunch of sweets on her desk. Just like in her, her house. Uh, wait, I wanna... We have many of these house plants in the city, but I figure they have them out here too. I guess they I guess they meet guests in this room. The joy of small towns. I mean I guess most places have a Oh, oops. Oh wait, I can show you it out here too. We got another sweary sighting. We got sweary with a German shepherd. Right there. It's number two. Uh how much time do I have left? Oh, like three minutes. I'm gonna get kicked out. Looks like Emily's locker. I'm curious as to what's inside, though we shouldn't be snooping around. Why not? George's locker looks like it's seen quite a lot of use. Spartan, just like the owner. all those muscle men. It's hardly a mystery who uses these, is it, Zack? Nope. Oh, I thought there were keys in here. I think I'm confusing with the other world. Da, 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 da. Thomas. Hello. Did you find the key? Well, I found two keys, but no, none of them are the uh, one you want. <sighs> All right. Oh, time's up. Agent Morgan, it's time to close the office. 
Can you view the files tomorrow? I see. So that's how things work around here. We haven't even found the key to the file cabinet yet. That can wait until tomorrow. This town has its own way of doing things, and you need to respect that. Regular business hours, even during a homicide investigation. Insane, but impressive. Zach, let's call it a day. We all have to abide by the rules. That's what they're there for. Except you don't. Well then, Zach, looks like we've got some time to kill. We do. Thomas! Why don't you go out the front door, my dude? Hello? Did you want something? If you want to talk about work, I'd be glad to discuss it at the office. No, I just want to say hey, because I like you. Huh? What were you doing today? I have nothing to say to a person who has no idea of what's going on here. I'll see you at the office tomorrow. the kind of small town USA where even the sheriff, sheriff's department closes at night. It's a totally different world from the city. Thank you, Emily. Alright, let's head over to Quint's house. I think this has like no gas in it. Can I make it? I think I can make it to get gas. He walked into my car. That's not fair. We can run into George, though. Fuck him. I love how I get dinged, but they, like, run into me all the time. Like, I've been clipped by the cars so often. Oh, let's go this way. Zach, we can take a rest if you're tired. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, well, then I'm closed. with you. Well, it's closed. We can't, because we didn't find the key. So... Zach, if you notice anything, just stop me. <sighs> Ugh, so gross. Hello, Gron Megazord. How's it going? See you, craphead. See ya, craphead. Alright. Where was I going? Oh, I was going to point. Finish up that side mission. Get the ranch. Hmm? No, no, 
nothing. Just my imagination. This is really awkward, but uh, I got this for you. Where did you get that? Becky gave it to me. She also told me to tell you that she can't accept it. Can't accept it? What does that mean? Exactly what it sounds like, Quint. I think she was extremely worried about you. I'm just guessing, but... She's been giving you the plants to make the red powder, hasn't she? Then you rode your bike out of town. You went on a trip. And you sold the powder somehow. You bought that ring with the money. That's why she gave me the ring. She wants to stop you from making any more trips. She doesn't want you to get involved anymore with this. But I did all this for her. I started out delivering because I wanted the extra cash. But you know, things like this change over time. As you can see, her family is loaded, and I live in a trailer house. She's out of my league, you know? And so I... I wanted to be the kind of guy she could be with. Quint, you already are. You didn't need money for that. Have things gone too far? Because of me? Not at all, Quint. You can do things over. You're still young. Um... Can you hold up on, on a time limit right Just for now. a little while. I want to apologize to her. And promise her that I'll never carry that junk again. Just give me a little time, please. I'll turn myself in once I've talked to her, okay? Zach, what is he talking about? Huh? Why would I arrest an innocent youth such as yourself? Quint, I'm busy with a murder investigation here. We can talk about health food another time, okay? If you really want to confess, you could always try a church. What do you think, Zach? It, it isn't much, but I want you to take this. As a thank you gift. Thank you. Zach, another young life saved. Good job. <laughs> it's going all right. Have my oh, I'm sorry to hear you have insomnia. It's been years since I played this all the way through. Yeah, it's been about two years for me. Uh, last time I played all the way through was when I streamed it last. But it's always fun. It would have been so funny if York went down on one knee when he gave to Quint, will you marry me? Isn't that my engagement ring to Becky? No. Yeah. Okay, you don't see anything else. Alright, 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 alright. Alright, so we finished that side mission. What time is it? It's 17, 12. Uh... I will see if I can talk to George and Emily when they get home. And I'll get chewed out. And then we can go to the Story 65 bar. I'll do the darts. And, oh yeah, we got like two minutes to 11. So we'll do that and that'll, that'll do it for tonight. And then I'll pick it up again tomorrow. So. Let's head over to George. Uh, that looks like uh, ivy. Some, oh, I thought there was a. Here it is. Oh, okay. What does he have in his garage? B 
braille paper. That's weird. Mm, nothing that interesting. All right. Let's smoke and get him to yell at me. Hi, George. Huh? I told you, my mother doesn't like having... You told me no such thing, George. We could talk at, at the office. Let's do this then. Wait, I thought you were supposed to yell at me because I didn't show up at the office. What the hell happened? Huh? Okay, I, I guess we'll... Here, wait, let me try... A little bit longer. Huh? Oh no, he says the same thing. Oh wait, you said the flag only has. Oh no, George isn't a patriot like he <laughs> he's pretending to be. He has a bootleg flag. Well, I mean, um... Oh yeah, I did show up at the office, didn't I? But he's still, he would still yell, they still yell at me like I didn't go to the office, though. So I'm surprised he's not showing that conversation to me. Uh, I think Emily will yell at me, though. Oh wait, she won't yell at me because it's closed. I forgot. Hers is not open to the weekend. I mean, to the weekend. It's raining. Oh, she's not even here yet. Alright, let's go to Square 65. I mean, it looks like it's about to rain, but it's not raining yet. Zach, is there something here that you want to check out? We're supposed to go through Anna Graham's file at the sheriff's office, but if you want to act on a hunch, then I'm with you. Hey! What do you recommend? How about a tequila sunrise, then? Mick Jagger's love affair with one of these beauties is well documented. Okay, so you're a romantic one. All men are romantic, you know? Even you, I'm sure. Ask yourself seriously. By the way, did you see Quint's menu, York? Well, no, because Quint is not here. <laughs> His menu is a little different from mine. Just adds a little personality to the place, right? You pick whichever you want to serve you. Let's take it easy, okay? Thank God this game doesn't have a day of the week schedule like Deadly Permission 2. Yeah! <laughs> Agreed. I want to ask you about Anna. I'm surprised the FBI got involved in this. An incident all the way out here? Wherever we are needed. Now, about the case, do you know anything? Well, I want to help you, but 
I don't think I have in I have info that will be of any help. This town is normally so peaceful, we don't know how to doubt people. It certainly is a quiet place, isn't it? And in the middle of that, Anna's body appears in the forest. It could have been someone from the outside of town, you know? You been thinking about this? A bit, but really, I'm just hoping it was an outsider. I can't imagine finding out that someone I know is a killer. Well, I have some bad news for you, Richard. <laughs> Zach, he quite likes to talk, doesn't he? I thought he would be a little bit more tight-lipped than this. It might be an act to hide something. But there's no need to start randomly doubting people. Hey! So you already know I run a darts bar. I don't make that much money. But it's my hobby, too. Like all the guys in town, pretty much, we make our pleasure our business. Yeah, okay. Oh, you still have something more to say. Hey! I'm just hoping this killer isn't one of us. You know, that'd be real scary. Hey! We need to buy the dark gun. Oh, apparently my, uh... Inventory is full. Hey. I like how um, drinking doesn't, it, 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 um, it's like caffeine, it keeps him awake. You think it'd make him sleepy. I did think it was pretty fun in the, in the sequel where he would get actually drunk. Mm. <laughs> mm. Mm. All right, let's go play darts. The way your comes it sounds like it makes more sense in the bathing minigame than driving. Yeah, I agree with you there. In my first time going through this game with my friends, we literally never came here, so we only talked to Richard at the town meeting and then forgot he existed. Now he's one of my favorite characters. Such a cool guy. Yeah, it's funny how many characters people will just, just not interact with. Like, a lot of people don't interact with Becky until... I mean, well, no, she dies, so then they never really interact with her. Uh, if you get a good score, I will give you a present. One place, $50. that far in York.
Come on. Oh, there is there is a unique uh, Becky dialogue. If you don't ever meet her, that's the dream sequence. It'll be different. He'll just be calling her name, like "Are you Becky?" instead of being "Hey, Becky." Almost didn't make that one. Come on, get centered on me. Thank you. In your face, Richard. Oh man, that hasn't happened for a while. Oh, whoops. Did I do something bad? Well, yeah, bad for me, but good for you, son of a gun. I'm not sure that I follow you. You just broke the record I set a few years ago. That's so. Hey man, show a little more excitement, will ya? They're all FBI agents and stuffy as you. Anyway, I had no idea you were so good at darts. When did you start playing? I started when I came to this town. Since you came to Greenvale? You're kidding, right? The thing about darts, you know, is that it's 20% technique, and the remaining 80% is all in the head. You need to 
powerful mind that's able to concentrate for long periods of time. You see, humans can only concentrate on one thing for so long, so you have to really stay focused and concentrate on the moment you release the dart. You must have a very powerful mind. We went through mental training at Quantico. Hey, here's your prize. What's this for? For getting the highest score. You won't see many of these around. Hell yeah, Take good care increase of inventory. Okay, we gotta do this two more times. We gotta get some trading cards. Let's see if I can do a, a try out of perfects. Probably not, but we'll see. Oh no, I'm running out of money. I need to get a pay stub. Second to last pattern is the red tree. You know, I never noticed that. Okay, I'll have to keep an eye on uh, on that. It's the one where you get to shoot the triple. Okay, okay. Yeah, I'm, I'm usually distracted trying to get the 20. I'll, I'll pay attention this time. I love the little, like, red tree hints in, like, all aspects of this game. It's really cool. I think my favorite little, like, red tree hint is the fact that you only see the red trees in the graveyard. Um, one in George's um, lawn and then at the sheriff department. And if you look closely during the 1950s um, romp with the raincoat killer, the red the red tree isn't there yet at the sheriff department. No, there's a sapling um, there from the get-go. I, I looked at it uh, last night because she got it from him earlier. Because, you know, he's, she's been friends with him longer, so she already got a sapling from him. Oh, 
Oh! Ah! Oh, I messed up. No perfect score this time. All right, you're right. It is a, it is a tree. The upside down piece mark. They don't grow. Well, no, no, no. Um, Pro fraud. They have to sprout from uh, a, a human body. Once they sprout, they can grow anywhere. So basically, he's given out sprouts that he's already <laughs> had them planted from a, a woman. Oh, continue, and you get a, another trading card. it takes a certain specialty to, to sprout. Don't forget, she she was uh... Uh, uh, uh... That's true, it was a bigger tree, though she was with him a while. So I figured it grew a little bit more than per usual. Uh, yes, I've been a fan of the game since 2010, since it came out. noticed was it got super popular especially after um, the endurance run on giant bomb a lot of fans came in from that one and of course uh, Jim um, uh, Sterling's uh, review brought a lot of people uh, so there was a, a big influx of people playing the game in that that first year Mainly for like, oh, the memes, ha ha ha. Um, but I gotta say, it's down, it's died down a lot <laughs> since its release. I think Deadly Premonition 2 soured a lot of people's uh, opinion on the game series. Yeah, so uh, people were very excited with the announcement because that was really unexpected. Like, <laughs> I mean, I was not expecting that and I went ballistic. And then Deadly Permission 2 came out and that was a real big disappointment in terms of just the quality of the game bug-wise and then also the story not being that great compared to the first game. And then people were kind of soured further after the, the Good Life came out.
but I haven't noticed a lot more people getting into it recently. That's that's kind of cool to hear. I just wish there was a nice version of them of the game that people could play <laughs> without caveats. So what, what got you interested in, in playing it, uh, Spidey? Like, did you see a meme about it, or did you just, were you recommended the game by somebody? forever and I still remember the little details about Death of Mission 1 with 2. I couldn't remember the girl's name at some point and she was like one of the main cast. <laughs> yeah, I'm with you. Like, I, I remember, I do remember Patty's name but, like, the other characters, I I, I couldn't tell you their names. Like, I, I remember everything about Greenvale. Honestly, I've spent a lot more time in Greenville than I, than I did with the, you know, the second game. Well, I did spend a lot of time doing those stamps, and then I got really soured on that game. <laughs> when the stamp, the last stamp was glitched, I was like, fuck this game. <laughs> That's why you'll never see me add stuff about the second game to my fan site. Like, I am so mad. <laughs> Still. <laughs> Uh, no, my friend Ray just likes the to stream games in our little fun group, and we, and we just picked it as a meat game after finishing Red Dead Redemption 2. Apparently our host faded from excitement when he saw the trip. So, when that was announced during the Nintendo Direct, here, let me get out of this, uh, so when, when Deadly Premonition 2 was announced uh, during the Nintendo Direct, I was at work and immediately people were <laughs> were like tagging me on Twitter so my phone was blowing up and then one of my co-workers on, um, on Skype was like, oh my god, Whitney, <laughs> did you see? I was like, yeah, I was watching. I just thought it was really sweet how everyone was just tagging me like, oh my god, Whitney, there's a sequel, there's a sequel, there's a sequel. <laughs> Uh, no, uh, Frau Fraud, they did not. It's, it's not glitched, it's, it's not bugged on the PC release, um, apparently, but I haven't played that, and they still have not fixed it on the Switch version. Yeah. So I, I didn't faint, but I was very excited at work. Like, I couldn't, I couldn't wait. Like, I just... My mind was going a mile a minute. Like, I couldn't believe that there was a sequel. Like, I was kind of expecting the Switch release because it was hinted at kind of like a day or day or two before the, um, the Nintendo Direct. So I was expecting a Switch port, but the, the sequel, no. <laughs> it was more so that I noticed that after we started posting daily permission on our Tumblr that we got a lot of interaction from blogs that hadn't posted about... DP since Deadly Formation 2's release. So I, I came across your blog. Uh, someone posted links on the Friendly Premonition Discord. And I was like, oh my god, they're they're like theorizing about Deadly Premonition. Hell yeah. <laughs> I got a reblog. I you know, I gotta get back on Tumblr. I keep falling off of it. I'm mainly on Twitter and Instagram myself. But uh Yeah, they fixed they fixed the last stamp on PC, so you can get the last suit at least. But I'm probably never gonna play this the second game on PC, even though I own it. Uh, isn't it just uh, purple? Isn't it like a purple suit? If I remember correctly. Yeah, I. I... <sighs> That was such a disappointment. I worked so hard on those stamps. And the, the, the issue was, 
those stamps are so, like so grindy so grindy like getting a tan in that game took days and days and days of like in-game days just to get a tan excuse me and you had to do it like 50 times i think i spent it's much time playing through the main game and once I finished that and then I started grinding for those stamps, I think I like spent the same amount of time just grinding to get those stamps. <laughs> and it was just not worth it. I couldn't get the last suit. It was so sad. Yeah. Yeah, it's it's pretty much inactive. <laughs> I need I need to log in to Tumblr. <laughs> I just, uh, cause Tumblr died for a bit because of the whole, like, no, no adult stuff. And then people weren't really posting on there. And then I stopped posting on there. I, I should go back and, and post more Daily Premonition shit. <laughs> yeah. I'm on Twitter all the time though. So you guys should make an account on Twitter and I will reblog your Daily Premonition shit on there. Okay. Well. That should do it for me tonight, but I will continue my Greenville investigation, which means I will dick around in Greenville <laughs> tomorrow, starting at 8.30 p.m. Oh, but swear has been on uh, Twitter since, like, I joined Twitter because Swery was on Twitter in, in 2010. So he's been there a while. <laughs> yeah. Oh, oh, you're saying you don't want him to... Oh, you, know, you know what? You know what? Don't worry about it. He's seen everything. <laughs> you should post it on there. Twitter's great, but it, d it doesn't work without VPN. Oh, yeah. I, for I keep forgetting about that. Does Tumblr still work for you, Fraud? Fraud? Yeah, and Twitter's kind of imploding at the moment as well, which sucks. Stupid Elon Musk. But yeah, um, so I, sh I should really post on Tumblr more. <laughs> AO3 isn't though, it's not blocked? That's nice. I love that site. <laughs> Oh, and if you guys haven't yet, you should read uh, Mello's uh, fan fiction scenario B for a Deadly Premonition. It's like an alternate take on who the raincoat killer could be and whatnot. It's really intriguing. I highly recommend it. I had a lot of fun reading it. Oh, wait. It's blocked? No! Aww. Yeah, sorry, I had some cool photos with York. Yeah, he had he had like a whole director's blog and stuff right before the the game came out in Japan. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of cute pictures of him photoshopping himself with York. <laughs> oh shit! What's your fic? I need to go on there and read it. The Thomas Time Loot Fic. Okay. I will have to look that up and read it. There needs to be more Deadly Pernition fanfiction, in my opinion. Holy moly, that's a lot! 127k. Cool. Well, we'll drop, drop a link so people can uh, check it out. Do it. Don't be embarrassed. <laughs> All right, thank you. I'm gonna click this and add it to my add it and to my mark for later. Hell yeah. All right, guys. Well, I need to work tomorrow, so I gotta go. But I will continue this again, like I said, tomorrow. Hope you guys have a wonderful day tomorrow, and I'll speak to you all again real soon. Good night, everybody. Bye.